And another developing story tonight, a security breach at a South Bay PG&E substation. And it's the same substation hit by a sniper last year in what a former federal official called an act of domestic terrorism. Ground Force Philippe Jagal is live in South San Jose tonight with more on this latest problem. Philippe. Yes, Pam, this Metcalf substation was burglarized sometime between late last night and earlier this morning. PG&E says it appears that human error is the cause of this security breach. Apparently, the fence alarm sounded once the thieves broke in through the fence behind me, but PG&E says that the employees didn't properly address those alarms. Now, we just saw, shot some video of where it appears the burglars made their way in. Take a look yourself. You can see a few portions of the fence leading into PG&E's corporate yard have crime tape in front of them. That's where it seems the thieves broke in just off of Highway 101. Now, right now, the sheriff's office says construction tools were stolen, but there was no impact to the electrical grid at the substation adjacent to the corporate yard. No customers lost any electrical service. Now, the sheriff's office says it'll be playing closer attention to this facility for the near future. We'll be definitely increasing our patrols out here um, and making sure that, uh, you know, deputies are getting here in a frequent uh, area to make sure that um, we patrol this area and that we provide some enforcement options out here. And the sheriff's office points out that there are some security cameras out here and they may have caught the burglary while it was in progress. So they say that they're going to effort some photos or possibly some video of the suspects once that video is available and if it will help solve this crime. Live in South San Jose tonight, Philippe Chagall, Cron 4 News. And this is one of our big stories tonight, the pg and &E pg and &E substation attack, but it's not the first time the pg and &E has been attacked. The San Jose station attacked uh, earlier uh, last year, along with the Vallejo fire and the earthquake. You can see what we are following. Take a look at the pg and &E attack. Want to give you some specifics about what happened with the previous attack at the same substation. This in April of last year, officials say one or more people fired rifles at the tanks, which contained oil used to power machines. As a result, 17 transformers were damaged. 52,000 gallons of oil spilled. We have some surveillance video also to show you from the substation the morning of the attack. You can see little light flashes. Those are the sniper bullets hitting the transformers. Crooks also went underground to cut fiber optic cables. And earlier this year, PG&E offered a quarter million dollar reward hoping to find the attackers who targeted the company's Metcalf substation. Following the attack, PG&E announced new security measures, including additional fencing, better lighting, and intruder detection systems.